Welcome to my channel, I am GDP, and today we got account tune-up slash review. Uh, first up, we got Crazed here. He is in the Guild Allegiance on server 626 on Android. Or sorry, he is on server 862 on Android. And also he has, looks like, a Delosium army he's building up. Um, he told me he has... Uh, was focusing on PvE for a little while and then he quickly realized he is one of the largest whales on his guild or his server so he went ahead and uh, told me he wants to focus some on PvP as well so let's go ahead and take a look at what he has all in his bags and in his hero slot so it looks like he's got a 5 E5 Delosium E5 Thakwa 10 star Drake, 10 star Garuda, 10 star Heart Watcher, and 10 star Cruz. And it looks like he's working on an Ada, maybe. And also uh, a Cruz. I'm assuming the second Cruz is for some Seal Land uh, pushes. Um, so that was, that's. Uh, let's go look at what kind of artifacts he's got. It looks like he's got just an Antler's Cane. And it looks like that might be it. Yep, just got just the Antler's Cane. Um, he does have, uh, two artifacts selection, selection chest here, um, on a starting account, just like this, uh, I would recommend, uh, grabbing probably at least one crown, um, and then you could probably go for probably either a wait for a kiss of ghost, uh, for some, uh, seal land clears. Or just go with another crown and a Rui or a receptor. Um, these two are probably your main choices for PvP. But if you did want to try, try and push your sea land as high as possible, um, kiss a ghost on Delosium and Athakwa is really really good choice. Um, you can also go with another Antlers Cane uh, if you wanted to focus more on PVE. But once again, if you're doing PvP, probably grab two crowns or maybe one crown, one Rui Scepter. If you're doing PvE focus, grab at least one more Antlers Cane to make a glittery Antlers Cane. And then if you wanted to have a better shot at clearing Sealand 20 on your Abyss, um, Kiss a Ghost with the Delosium will help out a lot. Um, I don't think you should be grabbing A and B on your, this account just yet. I don't think you're you're going to need for that speed yet. I do think the crown probably be, be your best bet. And then um, the reason why I say uh, Rui Scepter is because you can either slap it on your Cruce, uh for some nice easy stuns, or it looks and also looks like you have five Sherlock's here and also uh, five selection chests here, so you could build another Sher so you could build a Sherlock. So you would want to run a Rui Scepter onto that Sherlock. So that is probably your option for your next E5, I think. Um, it looks like you do have a Garuda getting built up. It looks like you got some Rogan copies here. Uh, very nice, all, all nice heroes to have. Um, but I think for P if you're trying to focus more on PvP, um, I do believe going into maybe a full Fortress Abyss or, or Prophet Orbs next Prophet Orb event, would probably be beneficial for you to try to build up that Sherlock because um, having a Sherlock on your team will be very beneficial in PvP um, and then you're gonna also want to slowly build up your Drake once you start getting Drake copies it doesn't look like you have any Drake copies um, I don't know if you're gonna spend money in the next Imps adventure but the next Imps adventure might have uh, Drake in the light dark selection chest so you might be able to get some copies there um, but let's go ahead and see what his Celestial Island looks like here. Um, looks like he has level 15 in light and level 13 in dark. Um, I think you should be focusing more on dark here. I think you should be leveling this dark speed up, uh, especially since you have uh, a Delosium and a Thakwa and you're going for a Drake. Um, Sherlock's not going to really need the, the, the light statues that much. Um, but yeah, so I think you should push those up. Um, I'm not going to touch them, but I, you have 10,000 medals. I do think it's best for you just to push, focus, focus on your dark for now. Um, all your heroes right now are dark. So go ahead, just focus this. That's going to be your best bet. 
Uh, let's go ahead and look at his monster here. Uh, it does look like he is building a dragon for a PvE monster for his Delosium army. Uh, he does have his phoenix here with, looks like he's got HP runes. Um, you do, you do uh, when you level up a monster, you want to, kind of, especially if it's your very first monster, you want to split up your runes and kind of like even them out. Um, it's a little late for you to do that. Um, but I do think probably just finishing out the Phoenix is probably your best bet. I know the Phoenix isn't the best pet for uh, Delosium Army, um, but you just, you need your, your max, you need your first max pet. So I don't think you should invest too much more into this dragon here. Just go ahead, fin finish this Phoenix, and then you can go ahead and move to your dragon pet for your more PVE potential. Um, I do think this is probably your best bet. Um, I think you heavily invested into HP a little too much. You definitely need some attack here because um, you 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 probably should have gone up like 30 on each and then 40 on each and then 50 on each and then 60 on each. Um, so yeah, that's what I would have done if I was leveling up this pet. Um, I don't think going straight into one rune is the best option. Um, let's go ahead and see what we've got in the wheel here. Nothing there. Um, it looks like he is buying. All right, so he's not really buying anything else. I do think you should be buying at least this every day. Um, I buy the three star shards every day, but that's your choice. Um, if you're strapped on spirit, you should also be buying spirit just about every day. Let's see how much spirit you got. Uh, you got 42 million. Yeah, so you're gonna need to build. You're, you're gonna need to start getting some spirit. Um, I mean, you got you got a bunch of gold right now. Um, you should probably be buying this uh, promotion stones every day too for gold. Uh, basically, everything for gold except for basic scrolls. You should be buying every single day, I think, at least in my personal opinion. And then, um, you if you're a monthly card holder, looks like you are at least the the, the big card. Um, you should, you should also probably be buying maybe scrolls every day. Um, so you can save up for a big event. You do have 760. Um, I would, I wouldn't pop these until probably, hmm, probably save these up for, start saving those up for Christmas, I guess. Um, by the time you get Christmas, you'll probably get 2000, uh, probably more than that. So you can use some for Chinese New Year's as well. Uh, but yeah, so I do think you should be buying these heroic scrolls every day with gems. I don't think you need the wishing coins Because um, I think the wishing coin income should be good enough from stub and stuff Looks like you are in death. So yeah, so definitely your income for wishing coins should be fine Because um, the gold deals in the wishing in the Aspen dungeon should be enough for you for the wishing coin event Um but yeah, so let's go ahead and look at the heroes here, what we can do. Um, I do think... I, I do think you're going to want to build probably another Delosium to 9-star just to finish off your Delosium army and then move on to your Sherlock and Drake. Um, yeah, so I definitely do think you should be getting a 9-star Delosium. Uh, so let's go ahead. Uh, he did give me permission to pull out at least one Delosium out of this chest thing. So we got one Delosium there. Uh, let's go ahead, pull one Delosium out of here. Uh, that would be enough for nine star. So you got this guy right here. So that should be enough for at least a nine star. Um, we got one food there. Uh, we can go ahead and probably, actually I don't think we're gonna need that. Let's go ahead, go to the creation circle, uh, create. Dominator here. Oh, that's weird. Oh, they're locked. Okay, they're in Intimensional Darina. Okay, we'll pick up a different hero then. All right, so we got one there. Go ahead and build up this Delosium here. All right. Let's go ahead and level up this Delosium here. Um, 
since you don't have the extra copies for uh, Sherlock, uh, I'm not going to pull the other Delosiums to make them 10 star. Uh, you could probably be fine keep them at 9 star for now, but if you are going to go for Imp's Adventure, um, it does look like you have enough copies now for a, a Sherlock, so you can probably just go ahead and pop out some more Delosiums uh, to finish off this as a 10 star and then you can hold them off at 10 star uh, 10 star you don't need to go much higher for 10 star for a Dawson army um, you do have one e5 but that is good just so you can do some seal and pushing um, so let's go ahead and level this guy up some more I'm gonna need some pull the other uh, destroyers out of the interdimensional arena pull these two guys out let's pull this guy out as well and then the Normas too. That way we can feed the Norma. All right, so we can feed these three, feed the queen. Um, and then here. So actually you might want to keep that, that destroyer for Seal land, possibly. So maybe we can just uh, pop out this guy right here. Now we'll just go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and pop this out. That way you can have that destroyer for seal land. All right, so you're strapped on abyss food now, but now you got a nine star Delosium. Let's go ahead, level this up as much as we can. We might get just shy of 200, probably won't make it all the way. Yep, 195. All right, let's go ahead and equip some gear. He does have the abyss faction damage reduction, so that is going to be the artifact that you're going to run a run on this. Um, see here Let's see what kind of gear you got here i'd probably move this over to Delosium just for now uh probably just run a 2-2 split um probably is worth upgrading this uh just because you have yeah so you're, what you're going to run is your setup for pvp is probably going to be uh, antlers cane on a thakwa and you're probably gonna to wanna to run probably maybe the Abyss already artifact actually. You might wanna run that. So you got two of these thing, Echoes of Deaths. You got a Fearless onto the Cruz there. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and level this up. I, I do think it's going to be worth it for you to level this up especially since you're going to be building a Delosium army and this will get provide some extra tankiness. Um, you don't need these green artifacts. Uh, keep the speed ones just in case. Green artifacts are pretty much trash. Especially at the point of the of where your account is, you're going to be you're going to be getting uh, a couple pay to win artifacts here shortly. All right, so there you go. So you got King of Demons fully leveled up. It's going to help keep this guy's survivability a little bit better. Uh, we'll level up his stone just to like red or something, just for a little extra HP. Let's go a couple more. Um, we'll stop at this one right here. This is fine. 11% 11, 11 HP. That will give you a little bit of survivability on him. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what stones you got on the Delosium here. You do have a Holy Damage Attack Attack. That is actually really solid for him. And you have the Crit Crit on uh, Thakwa. That's really good. Um, so I do think this is going to be the next stone that you push up. Uh, once you get a uh, bunch, you're going to need more uh, dust. 
and then we'll be you'll be getting more gold once you do your broken spaces so that's good uh drake here let's set up drake's uh gear here um one three a uh, one three split is probably better for him um you're gonna want to upgrade this at least just a little bit at least get it past blue so, since you're going to be working on drake here soon uh i'll stop this at four percent attack you can take it up more if you want later um this is probably the correct artifact how to use for him now um once you get the food you can level that up but once again you're gonna be getting two pay to win artifacts so you're gonna want to use the food on those artifacts um I mean, you, you can even uh, start foddering some of these orange artifacts if you really, really, really wanted to. Um, you're not, Ormus Workshop is not in the near future for you, so it doesn't matter if you really fodder your orange artifacts right now. Like this artifact right here is pretty much food. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and go into, uh, let's try out Sealand first. So we're gonna go for, Abyss Sealand first. No, not, not Abyss. Shadow Sealand. So we're going to want some Ice Trolls. It doesn't have any Ice Trolls, it looks like. Hmm. Maybe we don't touch a bit or a Shadow yet. Does he have Ice Trolls here? No ice trolls anyway. Maybe if we do like 100 of these. All right, now we got some ice trolls. Um, I think these need to be at least like level 40, I think. Just to stay alive. Uh, let's go ahead and get the spirit from here. All right. Let's level up a bunch of these. All right, so we got four ice trolls kind of leveled up. Uh, we're going to need this guy here with, as long as he has that, that's good. Uh, we're going to need some damage reduce. So let's go ahead and grab some damage reduce artifacts. Got one there, one there. I think that's it. So let's go ahead and grab that one. So slap that on there, put that on there. Uh, let's see, can we do, just unlock that. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we can do in Sealand Shadow. Uh, once again, you don't have any attack on your pet so it's going to be a little rough but you do got HP yeah I don't know if you're gonna be able to do this without the attack rune and you don't have uh, energy on the trolls either to do get, to get that early stun. Yeah, I don't know if this could be possible without that attack rune and stuff. So let's go ahead and see what we can do in Abyss. See if there is anything we can do in Abyss. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five. Do we have a Skiri we could use or a Kathuga? We do have a Kathuga. 
So let's pop out one Kathuga there, and we do got one Skiri. So that that actually be better than the Destroyer. Um, you do. I think you are gonna need some Spirit though. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Level this guy, this bad boy up. All right, so uh, Kathuga is 100. So we use Kathuga, Skiri, Cruz, Cruz, and then the Delosium. I guess the double Delosium will work. Get that to level 100. All right. So let's go ahead and pop out all the stuff off these ice trolls. Um, once again, hopefully we can do something because you went full into HP runes. Um, might need to wait until your pet's a little bit higher to get more into seal land. So since our Kathuga is going to be a little bit of our main tank here, uh, we'll go ahead and gear him up fully. Pop these off for now. All right. Uh, scary. Don't think it really matters too much what you have. Would be nice to get energy or something. Uh, Cruise. We'll give the nine star Cruise that. Give them, give Delosium the Antlers Cane. Uh, give the 10 star that. Um, let's go ahead and try this. So we got Skiri, Kathuga, Bruce, Delosium. Uh, are they Rangers or Mages? I think they're Mages. So let's go grab the Anti Mage. Let's go ahead and see if we can do anything in Abyss. So we're going to want Cthulhu in the front, Delosium in the back. Uh, let's go ahead and try this setup. See if this can do anything. Oh, Delosium, is he going to do it? Oh, yep, there we go. Did get one seal in done, so down to see if we can get another one. Oh, that just hurt. That annihilated. All right, so we're going to need to not get annihilated off that first round. Uh, maybe, maybe don't use this Delosium. Because, yeah, we don't want that energy. Yeah, we don't want to give the boss the energy in the first round. Oh, close, but no cigar. Um, let's try it again. Oh, 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 there you go. Seal and 13 done. Let's see if we can get seal and 14. Oh, all the energy went into the boss. Yep, boss got energy once again. Um, don't have any more tries, but we did get you two more levels into the Abyss faction. Um, I do think you can definitely go higher if uh, if you focus it a little bit more onto your on your pet here. Definitely uh, go more into your pet there. Um, but let's go ahead and go do some broken spaces. Um, I'm going to set up his team for him and then he can finish it off later on. Let's see here. So let's pull this off, this off.
All right, so you are going to get that. Uh, this guy is going to get... Hmm. You get the Antlers Cane. Uh, Echo of Death. I think you have two Echoes of Death, I think. I thought, yeah, you do. Echo of Death onto the Drake. Well, actually, play a Courageous probably be a bit better. Uh, let's give the Heart Watcher. So you have no energy artifact. So that's going to be a little rough on the Velocium army, especially with just two of them. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go ahead and go into his broken spaces, see what we can do with his broken spaces. See, so I think we're going to use the Cruce as our last hero. It's probably fine. So once again, you have no attack runes, so it's going to be a little bit rough. Let's see, can you kill this in one hit? Yes, you do. Go ahead, skip right through that. All right, so he was able to kill the first three stages in three hits. That's good. Uh, for the cruise here, for the let's go ahead and make sure for the Gru, we got Purify on. Yes, we do. We give you the Drake in the front. See if you can dodge so he doesn't get armor steel. Did seven billion, so that's good. About a third of the health. All right. Getting progressively lower. It looks like that's kind of funny. Started off with seven, then went to six point one, then five point nine. 2.8, so the Delosium army at this point isn't going to do a whole bunch because it's down to single hero, but be able to finish it off there. Uh, on to stage 5. Yeah, f another 6 billion. Seven point seven there, doing pretty good. I think you're gonna have issues on broken spaces six and seven. Five point two there. Eleven billion there, very nice. Another six billion. Uh, I think the Jara might be dead now. It might be just Valentino. Oh, no, it is. Jara's still alive. But now it should be just the Valentino. It's only 2% left, though. So it should die really easily. Yep. All right, broken space is 6. I think this one's going to be a little rough. Let's see if you can even live this. We'll watch it. Don't know if you're going to be able to really live this. Especially if that Delosium gets CC'd like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, this might be a little rough for you. You can't have the Delosium CC'd at all if you want to have a chance at this. Because if the Delosium is CC'd, they won't replicate and extend. Yeah, that's not good. Aqua is CC'd. Nah, she didn't even heal there. They are doing minus ones now. So you might have a chance. 
Nope, not if he gets CC'd. Hmm. Maybe we'll get lucky with the Oberon Twines. All right, so both of the last games did get CC there. That's not good. Curse went down. Yep. Looks like this broken space six might cause you a little issue. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can smash some. Let's see what 20 smashes does for you. Yeah, not having the Heart Watcher having energy kind of hurts. Um, and also, once again, not having the pet runes. Okay, so 20 was able to do a decent amount. Let's see what we can do with the next 20. All right, we, you might have a chance of get, at least clearing this. Yep, so you did clear this. So you have 104 for this last stage here. Let's see if you can live this at all. I don't know if you're going to be able to, though. Especially not having uh, energy on the Heart Watcher. Yeah. No energy on the Heart Watcher is really going to hurt. So I don't know if this is going to be really that possible for you. Let's see what uh, 20 smashes does. Or let's start off with 10. You might be able to, actually you'll probably be able to beat this. Let's go ahead, hit 93. Okay. So you'll be able to finish this, 41%. Um, I'm not gonna spend gems for you, but uh, 41%, uh, you got all month left. Just go ahead, use the same same setup that I have on here, and you should be able to beat Broken Spaces 7. So I think for PvP, your next course of action, I'm not going to build this for you, uh, but your next course of action, I believe, will be uh, Sherlock. Uh, pop all these Sherlocks out. You got five here. Um, you got f another four here, so that's nine. Um, for your light dark chest, um, I would consider either going for carry for PvP on all these or possibly uh, start getting some Amon Ra's so you can work on Sea Land Dark. That's up to you. Um, it, I, I think you're going to be able to push really high in Abyss. Uh, sea Land Dark might take you a long time because you got to get all that Dark Fodder. So if you really want to just focus purely on PvP, maybe just grab the carries. Um, for your skins here, it really doesn't matter. Um, probably grab a carry skin for, when you're, for your carry. Um, but you got a bunch here, so you can get whatever you want, basically. Uh, you do have 9-star there. And then once again, I think for the, the artifacts, grab either two crowns, one crown, one Rui Scepter, one, because you're going to want the Rui Scepter for your Sherlock. Or if you want to do more PvE, you can grab one more Antler's Cane to upgrade your Antler's Cane. And then your other option would be to grab me. This is like a, probably a do not do, but it's... But you could do it if you wanted a little bit better chance at your seal land but once again i do think these three are probably what you're going to do um so thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you guys into the next count tune up